Hello and welcome to Webdo Mentors YouTube channel and you are watching programming in Java series for beginners. So in this video we're going to see about assignment operators in Java. So assignment operators are mainly used to assign some values to the variable that you have declared. It may be after doing a calculation or an operation to the value that you are assigning. So we have a list of assignment operators and we are going to see about using them in a program. So I'm going to use Eclipse IDE in order to write a program for the assignment operators. I'm going to first declare a class named as assignment operators so the class is created I'm going to declare my main method public static void main what string args is the parameter so first of all as usual in every other program I'm going to create a couple of variables int a is equal to 10 and int b is equal to 20 so this is an assignment operator named as equals to where you are assigning 10 to A and assigning 20 to B. So instead of using two lines for assigning two values, I can just directly use the same line. and Put a comma and assign two variables directly if and only if both these variables are of the same type. So let's go into the actual assignment operator section. The first is equal to, we have already seen it, but I'm going to do it again in order to make sure that you understand. So int assignment is equal to 30. So I'm actually assigning 30 to the assignment variable. The next is add and assign. So which is plus equal to. In here, first I'm going to create a variable named as c is equal to 40, assigning 40 to that variable. Now I'm going to add a to c and then save it on the c variable itself. So it's going to be c plus equal to a. So now what it happens is that it's going to add 10 to 40 and save 50 as the value for c. So we will be checking that when we print out the value. So the next is subtract, sorry subtract and assign which is going to be minus equal to so int d is equal to 50 and I want to sorry so now I'm going to subtract 20 that is b from d so that's going to give me 30 as a value so d minus equal to b so that will subtract 20 from 50 and give 30 as the value for it. Next is multiply and assign. It's going to be star equal to. Now int e is equal to 100. So I'm going to multiply e, that is 100, with 10. So that's going to be e star equal to a. So that's going to give me 1000. The next is divide and assign. It's going to be flash equal to. So let's first declare f is equal to 3000. And I'm going to actually divide the 3000 by the assignment. Right, so f flash equal to assignment. So the next operator is modulus and assign. So we're going to find the modulus and assign it to our value. So that's going to be percentage equal to and first int g is equal to something around 300 and I'm going to actually divide it by b 20. So g mod equal to b. Next is left shift and assign. So this will be understood only if you have seen the bitwise operator video. So try to go and watch the bitwise operator video before going into these assignment operators because you won't understand it clearly. So less than less than equal to that's going to be the left shift operator. So I'm going to create a variable h is equal to 21. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually convert the value of h with the left shift operator 
less than less than equal to so I'm going to use some value which is smaller so I'm going to use 3 and right shift operator right shift and assign it's going to be greater than greater than equal to and int i is equal to I think 17 and I'm going to use i greater than greater than equal to 2 so I'm going to use smaller numbers because if you use bigger numbers it will be very difficult for you to even understand it so sorry made a mistake so the next is bitwise and assign assignment so it's going to be and equal to so it's going to convert it to the bitwise and and uh, the actual function of the bitwise and is check if both the bits of the variables are set and then save it into your variable so I'm going to use int j is equal to 13 and I'm going to check for bitwise and equal to some value 13 so this is going to give you the value of j is equal to j and 13 so instead of using j twice we're just going to reduce it to once and then bitwise exclusive r and sign so this is going to check for exclusive r int k is equal to 21 and k exclusive r and assign it worth 14 so it's going to compare with 21 and 14 exclusive r's work is to check if only one of the bits of the values are set not both the next is bitwise inclusive r assign so it's going to be pipeline equal to int l is equal to 2 9 29 and we're going to go with l pipeline equal to 12 so the difference between the inclusive r and the exclusive r is that inclusive r checks for at least one of the bits are set but exclusive r makes sure that only one of the bits are set not both okay so that's the actual end of the assignment operator so it's going to be a very long list of operators we have I have to print it out so I'm going to use system.out.print Alan and we're going to have some operators to use so it's going to be equal first Let me copy this line because I don't want to type it out every time. So assign meant the next one is add and assign. So we have used C for the value. I'm right, yes. And the next is D operator is subtract and assign then goes E which is multiply and assign then F divide and assign G is modulus and design so after G it's going to be the shift operators so left shift and assign so it's hatch and then right shift so I'm just going to copy it shift and assign it's going to be 
I. Then we have the sorry about that. So copy and paste, right shift and assign three times. So bitwise and assignment. Bitwise exclusive or and assign. Bitwise inclusive or and assign. So I've saved the file. Now we're going to print out each of the values. For that, I have to actually change the variables K and L. So now let's print it out. And we got each and every value. So equal to just going to assign it. So it's 30. Add and assign is 40 plus 10 is 50. Subtract and assign is. Fract and assign is 50 minus 20 is 30. So we have B as 20. So 50 minus 20 is 30. Multiply and assign is 100 into 10 is 1000. Divide and assign is 3000 divided by 30. So you can see that the assignment is giving you 30. So it's 3000 divided by 30 is 100. Modulus and assign is G is 300 divided by 20. Going to give you uh, the value as 15 if you divide it so it's not going to have any kind of modulus value so in order to change it let me actually change it to something like uh, 12 well 12 is also going to be a value so 17 and when I run it you'll be getting some modulus and assign value which is 11 so left shift and assign is 21 left shifting it and assigning it 3 bits so I'm getting 168 so you can actually use the binary calculator in order to calculate the values of 21 and also 168 and check for it it's going to take long time if I'm going to check that so same goes with right shift and assign where 17 is uh, shifted right two bits so it's going to give you four as the value and bitwise and assignment is going to check for 13 and 13 again so it's going to be 13 and 13 so it's going to give you 13 so that's one of the easiest way to actually check and bitwise exclusive R is going to check with 21 and 14 exclusive R is to make sure that only one of the bit is set so it's going to give you 27 inclusive R is going to check at least one of the bit is set so it's going to be 29 and 12 will give you 29 because 29 is the highest where the lot of number of bits are set so that's actually the end of the assignment operators it's going to be tough to actually understand the shift operators if you have not seen bitwise operators video so if you can't understand it go back to the bitwise operator video try to understand them and come back here you will be understanding what is happening in here you can also check it all by yourself by calculating the bitwise values so we have explained that in the last video so try to use that as an example and also a way to calculate the bitwise operator values well that's the end of this program and also the end of this video thank you for watching this video and i uh, hope this was useful if you find this video useful please hit the like button and also share it with your friends and uh, please subscribe to the channel there's a lot of videos coming in and there's also a new series that's going to come up and if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks please feel free to share it in the comment section of this video or on a Google Plus page, Facebook page or Twitter feed. And you can also contact me personally through the social links that I have provided in the description section. And thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.